Introducing the pea pufferfish. One of my favorite species in the entire aquarium hobby. Just look at how chubby they are. It's easy to see why I love them so much. I've always been mesmerized by the circle of life and find breeding fish to be one of the best ways to explore this never ending fascination. It has been a long term goal of mine to breed these fish and our story starts with my small colony of adult pea puffers. In this group, we have three males and six females. I got them as babies from a local breeder over a year ago, and now they're adults. It was time for me to try and breed them too. This is the aquarium. I added a sponge filter, for obvious reasons. This filter will also house microscopic organisms. The first food for our baby fish. This setup is basic. Now, I only need a few spawning mops. These will give the puffers a place to lay their eggs. I then added in the parents. Clearly confused, they swam away quickly and hid under the mops. They'll adjust soon enough. From what I've experienced, pea puffers only seem to eat live foods, which is why these black worms are perfect to have on hand. A few days later, and full of nutrients from the black worms, I noticed that they were all flirting with each other. The males were relentless. I checked to see if they started laying eggs, but I couldn't find any. I'll have to wait a little longer. It's been over a week now, and I've been feeding the fish every day. I'll be honest. I haven't been checking for eggs too often, but I did now. Wow, finally, and I didn't even have to do much. I only managed to spot a few eggs, but I was over the moon happy. Based on the number of eggs, the pea puffers have been spawning all week. I took some out to have a closer look, and you can actually see the little cells inside the egg, which will soon turn into a tiny puffer fish. In the wild, pea puffers scatter eggs on the base of their river ecosystem, and they don't possess any parental instincts. It's likely these fish won't even know that these babies are their own. They must move on to allow the next generation to flourish. Only two days later, our first babies began to hatch and emerge from the mops. You can see some are still not fully hatched, with only a little tail poking out of the egg. Others have already began to have their first swim. I won't feed the babies yet as they have their little yolk sac. Even so, their mouths are too small for anything else. So after this they will feed on tiny organisms contained in the sponge filter. This is why I raise my baby fish in an aged aquarium. However, not all organisms are welcome in our pea puffer nursery. Introducing Rhabdocola small flatworms that eat fish eggs. They are a huge threat to our unhatched puffers. It is likely that the Rhabdocola hitchhiked on the back of worms that we fed our parents. It seems they are staying on the sides of the tank, so they shouldn't harm the eggs on the bottom. So I'll leave it for now. Over the last week, many more puffers have hatched. All of my babies have grown larger. It is time for me to give them their first real meal. For small fish, we need even smaller food. I gave them some brine shrimp, a tiny saltwater organism which can be hatched out from eggs on demand. The brine shrimp display a jerking motion, which excites the baby puffers and they will have a bite. Yeah. Quickly, all their bellies are full. Brine shrimp will be a main staple in their diet over the next month. It's another week later and the peas are growing so fast. They've been eating brine shrimp this whole time. The 
The peas have become so good at hunting the shrimp, I think they're beginning to resemble their parents. So it won't be long before they take on the challenge of eating their first black worms. It seems all the rhabdocola have disappeared. Probably a credit to our new puffers. The predators have become prey. Our pea puffers are now a month old and have officially graduated from pufferfish preschool. They are almost ready to enter the real world and move to the tanks in my aquarium store, where they will travel to their forever homes. But before this, they face one final test. It is time to see if our new army of peas are ready to take on the battle against this pile of blackworms. Will they step up to the challenge, or do they need more time before they are brave enough? At first, the peas were confused. Blackworms are much bigger than brine shrimp. After a few minutes, one brave pea took a bite. Inspired by their friend, more followed. Very soon, everyone was trying the taste of blackworms. I'm so proud of my new peas. To see them come all the way from eggs to juveniles is so rewarding. I think it's safe to say that the peas are ready to move into a tank in my store. Many customers love the puffers as much as I do. I'm certain some of our babies will meet their new owners very soon, and maybe eventually they'll become parents themselves.